Sunset Yoga. Hi guys. Today we're going to be starting sitting in easy pose on our mats. Ground down evenly through your sit bones. Sit up nice and tall through your spine and knit your lower ribs in, focusing on your breath. The space that I'm in today is one of my favorite places to be and this red rock behind me is a very healing rock so I thought it would be great to do a yoga class here today. Come up to a tabletop pose on your mat and then put your big toes together, your knees go out wide press back into a wide-legged child's pose and focus on your breath here. Come back up to a tabletop pose. Inhale as you curl your toes under and exhale as you push your hips up to the sky. You can push your torso in towards your thighs and pedal out your legs. Any movement that's comfortable for you right here is good. Roll up through your spine into a plank pose. Bend your knees and then push back into a down dog. Inhale as you roll through your spine up to plank. Bend your knees. Exhale as you push back into down dog. Roll up to plank and then push back to down dog. Roll up to plank. Drop your knees down to the mat. Come to a tabletop pose. Kick your right leg straight back toes on the mat and press through your heels for a nice stretch and then bring your right foot over to the left side and kick back through your heel. Bring your left foot straight back, toes on the mat as you push through your heel and then over to your right side and push through your heel. Bring your knee back to the mat Inhale as you curl your toes under on the mat and exhale as you push up into down dog. Inhale and step your right foot up in between your hands. Exhale as you engage your core, come up, arms go above your head and sink into your crescent lunge. Bring your hands back down to the mat, right foot steps back, kick it up into a three-legged dog, and then pull it into the center twice, knee to chest, right leg kicks up as we pull our knee to our right elbow two times, right knee to right elbow, and then kick your leg up and right knee to your left elbow twice, right knee to left elbow, kick your leg up and then bring your right ankle to your left wrist so you come into a pigeon pose. Try to get your shin parallel to the top of your mat, sit up nice and tall, foot is flexed and then you can begin to walk your hands slowly out in front of you as you come down to your forearms. Take some nice deep breaths in this pose. Walk your arms back up, curl your left toes under as you step into down dog, send your left leg high as you step up in between your hands, engage through your core as you come up, and exhale as you sink into your crescent lunge. Bring your hands back down to the mat as you push your leg 
left leg up high into a three-legged down dog. Your left knee is going to pull to your chest twice. Left knee is going to touch your left elbow twice. And then left knee is going to twist and touch your right elbow twice. Left leg goes high as we send our left ankle to our right wrist as we come down into our pigeon pose. Sit up nice and tall and adjust here. And then begin to slowly walk your hands out in front of you as you come down to your forearms. Take some nice deep breaths in this pose. Begin to walk your arms back up. Curl your right toes under as you send your left leg back. Push into a down dog. Step or hop up with a flat back in between your hands. Exhale as you forward fold. Inhale, send your arms up high to prayer as they come down through heart center. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale as you forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Hold your breath as you step or hop back to plank. Exhale down through chaturanga. Inhale through up dog. And exhale through down dog. Step your right foot up in between your hands. Left foot's going to pivot towards the long edge of your mat as you come into warrior three. Bend into your right leg. Arms are parallel to the mat as you gaze over your right hand. Go into reverse warrior so your left hand comes to your calf as you bend over. Look up to the sky. Inhale up as your right arm comes to your right thigh. Send your left arm up as you gaze up to the sky. Cartwheel your hands back down to the mat. Step back into a down dog. Left leg goes up high. Step in between your hands. You pivot your right foot to the long edge of your mat. Inhale to come up and exhale to bend into your warrior two. Arms are parallel to the mat as you gaze over to your left hand. Reverse warrior, right hand to right calf as we bend over to the right. Inhale as we come into a side angle. Bend over to your left thigh and send your right hand up high. Cartwheel your hands back down to the mat. So we step back into a plank. Inhale, exhale through chaturanga. Inhale through up dog and exhale through down dog. Step your right foot up in between your hands for a Virabhadrasana 1. 45 degree angle turn out on your back leg as we bend down. You can bring your hands to prayer for a slight back bend if you would like to. If that's not accessible, just keep your gaze forward. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Step back into a plank. Exhale as we go into chaturanga, inhale to up dog, and exhale to down dog. Step your left foot up in between your hands. We come in for a Virabhadrasana one. Right leg is at a 45 degree angle as we bend into our left knee. You can bring your hands to prayer and do a slight back bend if that's comfortable for you your hands back down to the mat as we step our foot back come into a plank exhale through chaturanga inhale through up dog and exhale through down dog walk your hands back to your feet heel toe your feet open as wide as your mat come into a forward fold and then catch your elbows as we come into a rag doll Relax your entire upper body and then roll up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. 
coming into a tree pose on the right side, grab your right leg and place it wherever it's comfortable for you, avoiding the knee joint. Hands come to prayer as you send your arms up overhead. You can also have your hands to heart center if up overhead is not comfortable for you. Release your hand and your leg back down to the mat and we're going to the left side now. Place your foot where it's comfortable. Send your arms up overhead or to heart center. Bring your arms back down and release your leg down to the mat. Step up to the top of your mat. Inhale as we send our arms up. Exhale to a forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. As we hold our breath, you can step or hop back to plank. Exhale through chaturanga. Inhale through up dog. And exhale through down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet as we come to a forward fold and then slowly roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Arms go up overhead as we catch a hold of our left wrist and bend over to the right. Inhale to come back up. Grab your right wrist as you bend over to the left. Walk up to the top of your mat and then go ahead and sit on your bottom. And come to lay down flat on your back. Bring your right leg into your chest as your left leg goes out long. You can roll your ankle here if that's comfortable for you. And then pull your right knee across to the left side of your body. Right arm goes out as you gaze over to your right hand. Your upper back should still be grounding down into the mat as you twist. Switch your leg, left leg comes into your chest. You can roll your ankle around here if that's comfortable for you. And then pull your left knee over to the right side of your body. Left arm goes out to the side as you gaze to your left hand. Make sure your upper body is still grounding on the mat. Pull your left knee back into chest as you send it out long. We're going to come into Savasana and focus on some deep belly breathing. So place your hands on your stomach and focus on your breath. Focus on the feeling of your hands rising and falling as you're breathing. Relax your body into the mat. Unclench any tension that you're holding in your face and in your shoulders and try to really melt down into your mat as you focus on your breathing. Bring your arms down to your side, palms facing up. You can roll your shoulder blades under your upper back a little bit here to make that more comfortable for you. If your mind starts to wander, bring your focus back to your breath and try to release all of the stress of the day. We want to wind down our day with a nice relaxing savasana. You can stay here as long as you want. If you're ready to come out, go ahead and roll over slowly onto your side. Take your time to get there, no rush. Push yourself up slowly as you come up to a seated position on your mat. 
bring your right arm down to the mat send your left arm up and over as you come into a side bend gaze up to the sky roll your hand down and stretch your arms out to the side of the mat come back up to center place your left hand down on the mat as you side bend over to the left right arm is up as you gaze up to the sky hand comes down as you roll it to the mat and then stretch out through the side you should feel a nice side body stretch here and then come on up to sit thank you for joining me in my favorite place namaste so i'll give you a quick little shot of my view here in the desert Here's the awesome healing rock. We've got a pool back here as well. And then here is the sunset in the beautiful desert tonight. Thanks again for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Bye.